actually ended up having an allergic reaction to my PIO shots. Like suddenly last night it started on both sides, which is just weird. <laughs> Today is Wednesday and I believe it's November 9th and I just got home from work so it's about 3.30 in the afternoon. I got off at like 3.15. Um, and honestly, I don't really have that much going on today so I thought I would just kind of do like a sit down, hang out and chat video for today's vlog. So that's what I'm going to do. So today is eight days past our five day transfer and it's been an interesting day. I have been very very tempted to take a pregnancy test but I did not do it I'm very proud of myself um, because I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram if you do that you know that I posted on Sunday night which was or Sunday morning which was five days past my five-day transfer that I decided to be stupid and take a pregnancy test and of course it came out negative the only reason that I even decided to take the test was because Justin was gonna be gone Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday morning and so if I decided to take one later, he wouldn't have been there. And I thought, you know, I was on Instagram and I was looking at like the hashtag five days past the five day transfer tag and people were getting positive test results already. And that's the only reason that I decided to take one because I saw that it was possible to get a pregnancy test result that soon. So I decided to do it and it was just a stupid idea because it was obviously negative. And I spent half the day crying, the other half praying that this would still work. And it was just a really hard day. And that night, I talked to Justin and my mom, and I told them, I was like, I'm not going to take any more. Like, I'm just going to wait till Friday. Because just because it was negative on Sunday does not mean the beta will be negative. To be honest, I have a feeling it's going to be negative. And I don't know why. I don't know if it's just the fact that I got that one negative test. The other thing is I just don't feel anything, like I don't feel tenderness, I don't feel, like if anything, the only thing I feel is fatigued. But I know that some people don't feel anything until they're a couple weeks along. So I, I feel like the beta could go either way. I told my mom, it's, it's really 50-50 to me. I honestly don't know. I feel like it could swing either way. So tomorrow is nine days past and then Friday is 10 days past and that's the day of our beta. And luckily it's on, I'm sorry, yeah the 11th so it's Friday so that's the day of our beta and luckily Justin has the day off and I have the day off because it's Veterans Day and so my appointment's at 8:30 in the morning and I don't actually know what time of day they'll call and give the results but I'm assuming it's in the afternoon probably around like one or two so we have the whole day off and I have like a backup plan um if we I kind of decided today you know what if it is negative which I don't want to be a negative Nelly kind of person but if it is I'm gonna make it, you know, like it's still a, a good day <clears throat> and a good week. I mean, it's gonna, obviously I'm gonna be heartbroken, but at the same time, I don't wanna let this defeat me. And so I was planning maybe if it if it's positive, we're gonna plan something really fun to do. And then if it's negative, we're gonna have something really fun to do. That way, either way, we have something, you know, that will make us feel like a little bit better or will be really exciting. And so, I mean, I don't know what we're gonna do if it's positive, I feel like. I don't really need to have a plan if it's positive because I'll just be so happy it won't matter. But if it's negative, I was thinking um, me and Justin are going to plan a trip to go to Disneyland like really soon because I've been wanting to go and I didn't, I knew we couldn't go. I mean, we could go when I was pregnant, but I wouldn't be able to go on any of the rides, which is like the best part of Disneyland. So I think we'll plan to do something fun like that if the test ends up negative. But I don't want to think that way. I really, really, really want to think positive and be hopeful. And the thing that it comes down to isn't just science. I mean, God is the the master of our lives. And if this is the right time, then this is the right time. Just because it may seem impossible doesn't mean that God can't do all things, you know? And I, I kind of felt like a tug at my heart on Sunday night that maybe I just needed to have patience and trust him. Because so many people take tests, like, every single day after transfer. And I don't blame them. Like, it, it was really hard to not take any more and I just felt like that wasn't really trusting God. That was more just trusting in myself and everything. And 
I've been trying really hard to stray from like internet stuff and whatnot. So I don't know. I felt maybe a little tug on my heart saying, you know, you're not really trusting me if all you're doing is spending your time on Instagram, Facebook, and worrying and wanting to take a test every single day just to trust me that I can I can make this work. So I don't know if he's going to, and I don't know if that was real or if I was just making myself think that. I don't know, but I, I kind of felt like he was saying that to me and through my mom and my husband as well. So that's what's going on right now, and I will update you guys um, soon after we find out. If it's positive, you know, we're going to want to tell family and friends, and then if it's negative, we're going to need some time. So I'm really excited. Justin is 100% certain that this has worked. <laughs> he keeps on telling me it's going to be the best weekend of our entire lives, so I'm really trying to have faith that he's right in that and have faith in God. So, And one of my best friends who just had her transfer two weeks before me, and hers was positive and I was so happy for her. She's always like, I'm very hopeful about this for you too. So we're, you know, I, I just don't want to worry about it anymore. I just want to be hopeful and I want to be excited that this could work and we could still potentially have one or two babies in my belly. And if it doesn't work, I'm going to be um, broken over the fact that we lost two. Because to some people, they may not seem like, yeah, babies yet. But um, in my eyes, they're like already my babies. And <laughs> so... Luckily, we still have a lot more Frosties if we decide to do another one. But anyways, that's the update for now, you guys. Um, the only other thing is I actually ended up having an allergic reaction to my PIO shots. Like, suddenly last night, it started on both sides, which is just weird because I haven't had any up until now. And I've been on them for... Mister's looking at the camera. I've been on these shots for, like, three weeks, and I haven't noticed like any allergic reaction but then all of a sudden last night my mom went to give me my shots and she was like oh my god what is wrong and I was like what 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 and it we looked on the paper and it said it was normal to have like the lumping the bruising the soreness the itching all of it was normal but it just looks bad so I'm gonna show you what that looks like but so I don't know if you can really see here it's a little bit worse there we go so that's one side where it's like bruised and like super sensitive, so, so freaking sore. I can't explain how bad it hurts. And then I don't remember which side was worse, that side or that side is pretty bad as well. I don't know. It's just weird because it happened all of a sudden and I didn't have any issues earlier, but the last two days have been rough. Like it's been hurting so bad and so itchy. And the only thing I can do I think is like Benadryl cream, which I have to go out and buy, but I haven't done that yet either. But Anyways, that's my update for now, you guys. So, I'm sorry this wasn't like an eventful vlog or anything, but I just wanted to update you guys on what was going on. So, I will talk to you guys in about a week, probably. Um, and I can't wait to find out our results. So, wish us luck. Please be praying for us. Um, praying that God's will would be done and that no matter the results, that we would have faith that this will happen for us someday. Because I know with my, in my heart, and I know this, that God will allow me to be a mom someday. And I don't know when that'll be, but I know it will happen. So... We're praying that it's soon, but we'll see. We'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.